Yeah, we're back on. Sorry, the transmission just cut off. Transmission cut off, but we, we're not breaking it. We're going to keep saying it because y'all know that was the enemy. We're going to keep on saying it. I please you. Come on. I please you. Come on. We, we haven't stopped. We're still doing it. I have faith, so I please you. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. To anybody who's just coming on, let's keep that flow going because people were getting free. We saw it. People were getting set free, so let's keep doing it. Hebrews 11, verse 6. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I please you. Yes, we were just starting to release the revelation when it got cut off. So you all begin to release the revelation on the screen right now. Hallelujah. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I delight in you. I don't want anybody to be condemned. We rebuke that spirit of condemnation that will try to keep the people of God from saying that we please the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you have faith in the fact that he loves you? If nothing else, you have faith in the fact that you are going to hear him in some kind of way or else you wouldn't be on this scope. That's faith enough. I have faith, so I please you. I have faith, so I please you. Think about what that means. With telling the Lord, I please you. Hmm. We know the Lord pleases us, but do you know that when we believe God, we please him I have faith so I please you yes Lord I believe you so I please you meditating on this word right now is pleasing you speaking this word right now is pleasing you mm. when I come to pray that is faith so I please you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. We're going to stay on that. For those of you all that are just joining on, we've been meditating, but our broadcast got cut off. So if it sounds like we're in the middle, that's because we, we've been, um, you know, we've already been doing it. So you'll just have to catch the replay of the first one. That's why this is part two. Now, I'm going to say another one. We're going to keep it going, okay? And that is this, uh, Romans 8, 5. No, actually, we're going to stay on Hebrews 11, 6. Let's go to this part. It says, he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Let's do the believe that he is. In other words, we're going to make it personal. I believe that you are God. I believe. That you are God. I believe that you are God. Let those words really sink in what you are saying. Think about what you're saying when you're saying you believe that he is God. I believe. That means you believe that he's everything he said he is in the word. <laughs> I believe that you are God means you're believing that nothing is impossible that he can heal just like that come on that that i mean he can literally make you fly right now you know what i'm saying this is god we're talking about i believe that you are god i believe that you are god man of god who was on it before if you're still here i want you to put that on the screen that would be so liberating for you. I believe that you are God. Come on, we're saying that we're talking to him. I believe that you are God. I believe that you are God. Now, let's begin to speak to the different parts on the inside of us. All right. Let's do that. I want you to repeat after me. We're going to do the mind, the will, the emotions. Repeat after me. Just say my mind believes that you are God. My mind believes that you are God. Yes. My mind believes that you are God. 
my mind believes that you are God. Hmm. My mind believes that you are God. Come on, we're speaking this power to our mind. So our intellect is now going to have to begin to humble itself to this, to, to this decree. Because it's the word. My mind believes that you are God. My mind believes that you are God. My mind believes that you are God. Now, let's plug in our will in there. My will believes that you are God. My will believes that you are God. My will believes that you are God. Mm. Let this sink in, y'all, to our willpower right now. My will believes that you are God. My willpower believes that you are God. Your will also sometimes can mean your desire as well. My desires believe that you are God. Now let's do the emotions. Some of, some of us might start manifesting on this. Our emotions might start manifesting on this. My emotions believe that you are God. This is about to war with any fear, anxiety, worry that we have. My emotions believe that you are God. Mm. My feelings believe that you are God. Oh, yeah. My feelings believe that you are God. <laughs> My feelings about other people believe that you are God. Ooh, ouch. Come on. My feelings about other people believe that you are God. Mm. Come on, let this word come into our feelings. For those of you all that are just joining, we're meditating on Hebrews 11 verse 6. My feelings believe that you are God. Come on, let's 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 hit those feelings now. You know, our feelings get in the way so much. You know what I'm saying? My feelings believe that you are God. My feelings believe that you are God. Mm. My feelings believe that you are God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 to those that are just joining. My feelings believe that you are God. Hallelujah. Now, we just did the mind, the will, and the emotions. All right? Let's go right to the, the, the we're just going to say for the heart. My, now, um, um, so the person was putting that up, you were right on. My heart believes that you are God. My heart believes that you are God. Mm. My soul and my spirit believe that you are God. Hmm. My actions believe that you are God. I just heard that. My actions believe that you are God. Mm. Come on. My actions believe that you are God. Yes. Yes. Mm. Believe that you are God. 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 I believe that you are God. I believe that you are God. Mm. Come on, let, let it sink into that worry. What are you worried about right now? Let this word of God from Hebrews 11, 6, let it begin to touch that worry. My dears believe that you are God. Mm. Come on. I believe that you are God. Mm. My money believes that you are God. My spending habits believe that you are God. <laughs> Come on. Hey, man. 
That's right. No anxiety lives in me. Like, think about the way that what we're saying. When we say we really believe that you're God. If you literally saw God sitting right next to you, would you really be worried at that moment about whatever's going on in your life? Come on. But he is sitting right next to us. Come on. Come on. That's the reality. Let's awaken to who it is that is right here with us because he literally lives in us. Huh? I'm awaking to the fact that you are God. We're, we're, we're coming from Hebrews 11 verse 6, everybody. It says, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Oh, that's a good one. Let's say that. I come to you, God, believing who you are. Yeah. I come to you, God, believing who you are. I come to you, God, believing who you are. Mm. I come to you, God, believing who you are. I come to you, God, believing who you are. Yeah. I come to you, God, believing who you are. God. I come to you. I come to you believing who you are. I come to you believing who you are. Wow. I come to you right now, God, believing who you are. I come to you believing who you are I believe who you are God I believe who you are mm, I believe who you are man this is hitting me you all because it's he's starting to show me it's something that I didn't even think I was worried about but it's coming up if you have something coming up right now a thought or something you know that you're thinking about that's that thing that doesn't want to believe God so as you're saying it the word is literally digging it up so you're not a bad person no the sword of the Lord remember he lays axe to the root he's actually digging it up with the word of God right now so keep saying it. it's going to keep slicing that thing up come on I believe that you are God mm. I believe that you are God. <laughs> I believe that you are God. I come to you and believe that you are God. I come to you believing that you are God. I come to you believing that you are God. Ah, I come to you believing that you are God. Man, you all, I'm, is any, I, I'll be getting something from this. I know I am. If you're not, just let it keep going. I mean, some of you all were getting it already. With me, it just started happening. So it took a minute. So it's okay if it takes a minute to sink in. I come to you, ponder the words, ponder the words, imagine, you said it's just words to me, so what I want you to do now, the other aspect of it is imagine, begin to imagine those words, imagine what it is that you're saying, You, who are you coming to, I come to you believing that you are God, who is God to you, begin to imagine that as you're saying it. I come, I come. You might have to say a couple of words over and over to really get that revelation. I come, I come, I, I come to you believing that you are God. Mm. That you are God. I come to you believing that you are God. I come to you believing that you are God. Uh. 
But if I believe that he's God, that means I believe that you are a good God. If I come to you believing you are God, that means I believe that you are good. No, you okay, Brookery? This is great. This is this is this is why we're doing it. This happens to all of us. So let that sword begin to cut it up. Maybe it's how you look at God. So let's go on that revelation right there. Who is God? Let's not say you are a good God. Like let's 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 we know he's God. Let's just begin to say his attributes. I believe you are good. I believe you are great. I believe that you are my daddy. Come on, dude. Like, believe this. Imagine this. Believe this. Do you really believe that he is your daddy? I believe that you are marvelous. I believe that you are the miracle worker. I believe that you are merciful. I believe that you are love. I believe that you are faithful. Amen. You know what, Brookery? I was literally about to say that and I looked at the screen. Come on. I believe that you are wonderful. Let's not say these words just to say it. Believe them as you're saying it. I believe that you are my rock. I believe that you are just. I believe this, Lord. I believe this. Mm. I believe you are my refuge. I believe you are my defense. I believe, Lord God, that no good thing, I mean, no, no good thing will you withhold from me. I believe it. I believe you are the word. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose from the dead, Jesus. Ah, I believe, God, you sent Jesus into the earth to die for my sins. I believe you delight in my happiness. Hallelujah. I believe. Now let's go to the next part. It says, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Huh. You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Let's say that. Let's talk to him. Remember that imagination aspect. All right. You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Ponder these words. You are a rewarder. What does that mean to you? You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Hmm. You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Mm. Lord, I am diligently seeking you, Gabriel. Hallelujah. You are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Let's make it even more personal. You reward me because I diligently seek you. You all don't even think about past. Think about right now. Right now, this action. This action, you said it's the performance-based mentality. Okay, we're not even on performance-based. We're Right now, we're not thinking about none of that. We're thinking about the word of God. Let's just speak the word. We're letting the word do the work right now. Right now, you are diligently seeking God. On this broadcast, we are diligently seeking him. We're meditating on the word and we're being diligent with it. Amen. And guess what? Not only is he pleased, but he is rewarding us. Yes. Lord, you are you are rewarding me because I am diligently seeking you. Huh. You are rewarding me right now. In other words, telling you there's a reward in the meditation. Something as simple as meditating on his word. He is rewarding us. What else does reward mean? Good. You are favoring me because I'm seeking you. You are favoring me. 
Oh, God, hallelujah. You reward me. You are, you are giving me new blessings because I am diligently seeking you. Ah, you are causing my enemies to be at peace with me because I am diligently seeking you. <laughs> hey, I just heard that. Proverbs 16, verse 7, you all. Now, this, this will probably get a shout from somebody. Proverbs 16, verse 7 says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. How many of us want our enemies to be at peace? Now, I don't mean just, you know, it could be kumbaya peace. It could be kumbaya peace. Or it could be that other type of peace. And what I mean is, when Jesus spoke to that, that thing and said, peace be still, when you look up that word, he was really saying, be quiet or shut up. <laughs> we ain't telling, look, if we speaking to devils, he ain't telling devils to, you know, like, yeah, I want you to go ahead and just, you know, have a good time and go out and eat with them. Uh-uh. When he's telling them to be at peace, he's silencing them as well. Hallelujah. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Ah, let's begin to say that. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. Remember you all, your enemies can be somebody that you're in opposition with. It can be the demons that are, that are bothering you. All right. It, it, it's so many different ways to look at the enemy aspect. But long story short is this is basically saying the Lord brings peace to that assault. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In whatever way it is, whether it's silencing them um, and removing them from your life, whether it's you and them beginning to get along. We know if it's demons, he going to silence them and remove them. Yes, come on. When we speak this, it happens because we are speaking what heaven desires. So this is a now moment. This isn't no end of it. We're speaking it now. Hallelujah. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. Think about a situation, maybe some drama you were in. Okay, that drama is an enemy to you. That Has it made you worry? Has it stressed you? You know what I'm saying? Has it brought any type of anxiety? Hallelujah. Lord, you make my enemies to be at peace with me. I'm speaking that for me right now. Come on. You make my enemies right now to be at peace with me. You make my enemies to be at peace with me because my ways please you. <laughs> you make my enemies to be at peace with you because I believe you. You make my enemies to be at peace with you because of my meditations. My ways please you. My ways please you. So you make my enemies to be at peace. Mm. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. You make my enemies to be at peace with me because my ways please you. You make my enemies to be at peace with me. You make, think, ooh, think about that. That just hit me. God making it. That means they, it's impossible for, for them to resist that. God is making them. Who can deny the hand of God? You make my enemies to be at peace with me. Yeah, release that revelation on make. You command my enemies to be at peace with me. Ooh, come on, y'all. You demand my enemies to be at peace with me. Ah. When my ways please you, you force my enemies to be at peace with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I like that. You command and demand my enemies to be at peace with me. My ways please you. You all, I'm, I'm, I really feel right now that this word we are releasing is dealing with our identities. A lot of us have some identity where we're not accepting us being joint heirs. 
And the Lord is using this activation for us to really step in our kingly anointing. Hallelujah. Say this thing. I please. The accuser of the brethren is lying to you right now. He's lying to you. And this is who we're warring against right now. Because when a man's ways please God, he causes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hallelujah. Yeah, there you go. Lord, you command these student loans to be at peace with me. Hallelujah. Yes, because my ways please you. Lord God, you make debt to be at peace because my ways please you. Mm, come on, you all. No, there, there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh-uh. Faith. You, you, the, get that intellect out of the way. This is what God says. We are standing on the word, not our own thoughts, not our own intellect. We are believing the word right now. And the word is going to work because the word is alive. Hallelujah. We believe that the Lord is who he is. So therefore, since he is who he is, he can make our enemies be at peace with us. Hallelujah. Because he is all powerful. Yes. 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 Didn't we just read? That he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you're on here, you're meditating, you're muttering something over and over. You don't think that's diligence? Hallelujah. You are diligently seeking him. All right. You are seeking the Lord and the Lord loves that. He loves you already. He loves you already. His love is not based on 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 us. Seek, uh, uh, you know works not at all however he also says that when our ways please him he causes even our enemies to be at peace with us i'm i'm a hey, I'm, I'm grabbing this 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 is so liberated to me because i definitely know some some enemies out there physical and spiritual <laughs> hallelujah lord god you make my enemies to be at peace with me Mm. Situations you are We have situations that are enemies Lord you make my situations To be at peace with me You make the, 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 the enemy That is in my situations To be at peace with me Now mm. Now Lord send angels right now To every area where an enemy Of me and my destiny is and command those enemies to be at peace with me. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, this is good, you all. This is good. This is really good. Now, we're going to go a step higher. And then we're going to go. We're going to go to Romans chapter 8 verse 5. And then this will be the last one. I didn't know we was going to get into all this. But you all, for those of you all that are just coming on, on the first broadcast... Um, we, we, we prayed corporately for someone on there. Somebody got deliverance. Um, it's been all types of stuff happening on, on this, on this coat. Wow. So now we're going to do Romans 8, 5. It says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So what we want to do right now is we want to say, I am after the things of the spirit. 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 I don't mind the things of the flesh. I mind the things of the spirit. I am after the things of the spirit. Envision yourself when you say I, I, think about who I is to you and after, think about what that means. You chasing after you, you, you crave the things of the spirit. You desire everything that has to do with the spirit of God. I am after the things of the spirit. I am hungry 
for the things of the spirit. Talk to the Lord. If, if, if you feel like you're saying it over and over, imagine yourself having a conversation with the Lord because you really are at the end of the day. We're talking to him. I am after the things of the spirit. Or you might do better just talking right to yourself because that's what's happening too. I am after the things of the spirit. I am hungry for the things of the spirit. I desire the things of the spirit. I am chasing after the things of the spirit. I thirst for the things of the spirit. I want desperately the things of the spirit. I am seeking after the things of the spirit. Mm. I set my mind on the things of the spirit. Come on, let's let's speak that into action right now. Let's say I set my mind. I set my mind on the things of the spirit. I set my mind on the things of the spirit. The things of the spirit. The things of the spirit. Let, let the power of the word come in. Let's say the things of the spirit. 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 Hmm. The things of the spirit. What are those things? The things of the spirit. What are the things of the spirit? Huh? Well, yeah, I guess the things of the spirit would be fruit. So I set my mind on love. I set my mind to joy. I set my mind on peace. I set my mind on long suffering. I set my mind on gentleness. I set my mind on goodness. I set my mind on faith. I set my mind on meekness. I set my mind on temperance, on self-control. I set my mind on the gifts of the spirit. Hmm. I set my mind on the word, for it was inspired by the spirit. Hallelujah. I navigate my internal GPS to love. I set my mind on discipline. Yes. I'm after the spirit. I am after the spirit. I am after the spirit. Now you all, I just I just just got an impression on something. We're gonna say the word. It says after the spirit, right? Let's say I am after you, Holy Spirit. Come on, talk to the Holy Spirit now. We're talking to him. This is his this is him. I am after you, Holy Spirit. We we we're not going to do no revelation. We're going to make this real plain. So, whatever after you the Holy Spirit you get, whether it's I'm hungry for you, Holy Spirit, whatever it is, but you're going to end it with Holy Spirit. Let's keep it at a simple sentence. I am focused on you, Holy Spirit. Talk to the Holy Spirit, you all. I am after you, Holy Spirit. I am focused on you, Holy Spirit. Mm. I want just you, Holy Spirit. Mm. I so desperately crave you, Holy Spirit. I crave you, Holy Spirit. Mm. I am after you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Me, Philip, I am after you, Holy Spirit. Make this personal, you all. You want to say your name? Go ahead, make it personal. I am after you, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Holy Spirit, I am after you. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I am after you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Oh. Wow. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. 
I need you, Holy Spirit. You, you, Holy Spirit. I need you. Mm. You, Holy Spirit. No other spirit. I need you. You, Holy Spirit, that was sent by Jesus. I need you. I am desperate for you, Holy Spirit, that was sent from heaven. You, you that lives inside of me, I need you, Holy Spirit. Woo, I need you. Mm. I cry out for you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I cry out for you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I cry out for you, Holy Spirit. I need you so much. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you. I need you. I am focused on you, Holy Spirit. Mm, I am focused on you. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. I am focused on you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Soak to that. I need you, Holy Spirit. Y'all can keep releasing um, revelation. I'm just, I'm just stuck right now, for real. <laughs> I'm, I'm following y'all. I'm, I'm with you. We doing this together. It's not just me. Mm. Wow. You know it, Lord. After you, Holy Spirit. Man. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't, I don't even know where to go next right now. <laughs> I don't. So I'm just, I, you know, I don't know where to go. Man. Hey, man. Let God be true and let every man be alive. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah, that is Anthony singing. Oh, you hear him singing? <laughs> he just started singing. Let's just feel, feel that, man. Sing that a little louder, bro. Keep singing. Come on, let's sing that. Fix my face like Flint. Fix our face like Flint. Fix our face like Flint. I need more of you.
So we went into another realm of meditation today, the worship aspect. Amen. So you, as you all are seeing and we're starting to go, you see meditations can take on so many different veins. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. Father, I just thank you for breakthrough. I thank you that each and every single one of us has went to a new level in our relationship with you. Even right now, Lord God, I thank you, Lord. And we just you all we, 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 we are synchronizing. Lord, I thank you. You are synchronizing us in the spirit with what is happening in the atmosphere. I thank you. You are synchronizing us with what is happening on Azusa right now. What is happening with those leaders praying and what is happening with every single spirit led prayer that is being released today. I thank you, Lord. We fix our faces like Flint because we desire more of you. So, Lord, may we go even deeper into intimacy with you, Father. Oh, Lord, open our eyes to our kingly anointing. And, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that as we sit on your throne, Lord God, that we will see those mandates that you want to release on earth. Let those things begin to be poured out on the earth in the name of Jesus God the blessings of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow father I even pray now that the angel that is standing there holding the jar with the fires with the prayers that are on the inside of it Lord is reaching in right now and pour into overturning that Lord God and pouring the fire of the prayers of the saints unto the earth right now oh Lord as we are releasing worship as we are releasing the meditation of meditation of worship to you, O Lord. I thank you that you are being enthroned in this and there is a fresh fire, Lord, that is blazing the atmosphere. Father, we thank you that you are lighting our candle and enlightening our darkness. So we bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we decree, Lord God, the breakthrough. We decree fire being released, a new fire in the life of everybody on this broadcast, those on the replay, even those who couldn't switch over to this right here, Lord God, but we're on the last broadcast. Lord, we even pray this for the members of our family, for our loved ones, Lord God. We pray for this fire to be released and let the fire on our altar never go out, Father. Hallelujah. Uh, new understanding hallelujah you said i'll see you guys tomorrow too <laughs> you know that we pray for our sister sister can we pray for you right now brookery brookery can we can we pray for you right now are you still there brookery amen father we pray for brookery and lord even as there is a fresh fire being released uh, Brookery, I'm speaking by the authority of the word of God, which says there was uh, it says that there is a candle that the Lord will light our candle and enlighten our darkness. And he said there is a candle in the belly of man. And so, Lord, I speak to the candle that is on the inside of Brookery right now, Lord God. And I pray that you will begin to light that candle, oh God, and enlighten her darkness. Lord, I speak to every single spirit of intellect that will try to get in the way of her personal relationship with you. Father, every single stronghold of intellect, Father, that has tried to exalt itself against the knowledge of you, let it be pulled down, oh God, because she seeks you. You, Lord, she seeks you, she desires for you. You are answering, Lord God, these prayers um, that are being released into the atmosphere. 